Yes, last night Sharon Mills left us with a $15,000 trip to New Zealand. Oh, and $100,000. Yes, yeah, so tonight three new players eager to get their hands on the loot. How will they go? Let's find out. The game is on. Welcome to Temptation. Like night. Hi, Ed. Last night. How are we going to top tonight? Welcome to you at home. Welcome to you, my sparkly friend. Thank you. Well, tonight starts the journey for someone to win their way to as much as Sharon won in two nights. That was pretty good work for two nights on Temptation. 120,000 plus. I bet she spent about half of it already. Oh, yeah. I think she <laughs> I would too. Have. She went away a happy winner. Who will be our winner tonight? I wonder. Three new challenges. Let's have a look at them. Here our they first contestant is a Beatles fan who was once at the same pub as George Harrison. Will it be a hard day's night? From Concord, New South Wales, welcome Scott Watson. G'day, Scott. Hi. Our second contestant will give Ed a run for his money. She operates a trivia business with her fiancé. Can she outsmart our quiz master from Carlton, New South Wales? Welcome, Nellie Namofsky. Hi there, Nellie. Our third contestant lived in China for a year and wants to return to establish an English school. From Belgrave Heights, Victoria, please welcome Richard Wilkins. Richard Wilkins, hello to you. Scott, you nearly, almost, kind of met George Harrison. Yeah, it was when I was living in uh, London uh, some years ago. I was just in a bar venue and I, the guy next to me, I thought, that voice is familiar. And I turned and it was George Harrison right there. And being such a big Beatles fan, I thought, say something, say something. <laughs> and then he wandered off and the, the moment, moment was lost. The gone. Close. The window of opportunity slams shut again. Never mind now. <laughs> We're harsh here, aren't we? <laughs> Scott, good luck to you. Thank Welcome you. to the show. And Nellie, how are you going to give us a run for our money, I wonder? I don't know. I oh. hope I can. I'm asking the questions this time round, but you operate a, a trivia company and yep. host those trivia nights. How are they? Fantastic. Lots yes. of fun. Yes. All right then. Not oh, as much prize should... money as on uh, Temptation. No, unfortunately not. All right but then. But she'll be a buff at it though, be warned. Well, you can win some yourself along the way, so good that luck to you. Nice. And Richard Wilkins, yes. how do you go uh, with the same name as our famous Channel 9 stable mate, the Richard Wilkins? I've never been able to use it to my advantage, but <laughs> I, do, I do get it a lot. Shh, don't tell him that. <laughs> At least you don't have to get up so early like no, they do for really the Today not. Show. All right, everybody, settle in. Good luck for the game. Why don't we get rolling for All Tuesday? All right, $20 starting money. Catch you later. We've got stacks of cash to give away. Let's see who can get their hands on it. Into round one, players. We're all set. Here we go. Number six on this year's Forbes Rich List, Ingvar Kamprad, is the founder of which Swedish homeware chain? Nelly. Ikea. You're away. Somewhat of a recluse he is too, I believe. Barricades and Brick Walls was a hit album in 2002 for which female Australian country singer? Richard. Uh, Casey Chambers. You're right too. You're off the mark. In terms of annual production, the world's two leading grain crops are wheat and which other? Also, Nelly. Rye. It's also called maize. We needed corn there. Sprint round time. Let's get 20 seconds up on the clock and get everybody sprinting. Your time starts now. Colloquially, to expend all one's energy is to go all what? Scott. The whole hog. All out. In which month of each year does the Wimbledon tournament begin? Scott. June. Yes. What is the minimum age of an octogenarian? Scott. 80. Yes. Which classic Queen song has the lyric, will you do the Fandango? Nelly. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. Which European company builds the world's largest airliner? Scott. <laughs> Boeing. Airbus, we needed on the buzzer there, so you head backwards slightly, and we've got a tied game as we head into the Temptation Vault round. Richard and Nelly, you are level on $25 a piece here. To get yourselves a look inside our Temptation Vault, we will auction off the opportunity to play this between a dollar and $5,000 in cash. So, buzz in when you'd like to start. Shall we make it $10? Oh, okay. You've got to be quick. Nelly's in. You want the money? Buzz in again, and a quick fire buzz gets you 3,957 if you don't mind. That's better than those trivia nights, isn't it? A lot better. You're away. Okay, Richard, sole leader for you now. The round continues. The downward facing dog and camel pose are postures in which. Nelly. Yoga. Yes, uh, developed from the school of Hindu thought, incidentally. Six golden slippers, four Caulfield cups, and two Melbourne cups were among the Scott. Bart Cummings. No, the successes of trainer Tommy or TJ who? TJ Smith we needed there. First of our fame game questions though, here we go. Look at $10 behind one of our famous faces, who am I? Born in 1937 in Philadelphia, I became recognised as a comedian in the sixth grade. My teacher writing the prophetic words, William is an alert boy who would rather clown than study. 
1962, I quit uni to tell jokes for $60 a week. Nelly. Bill Cosby. Take a stab, you're right. Hey, there's a bit of trivia for you. Bill Cosby. Let's see the first look at our nine famous faces. Lavinia has them for us tonight. Oh. Giving us cooking tips in the kitchen, Lindy Milan from Fresh, Ray Martin, A Current Affair, Under the Microscope, CSI's Vanessa Felito, Dave Whitehill from Hot Sauce, the Today's Tracy Grimshaw, throwing in comments from the couch, Fraser's John Mahoney, Bruce Page, Nine News in Brisbane, the only sane one on Two and a Half Men, Angus T. Jones, and Kathleen De Leon, High Five. All right, Nelly, pick a smiling face and it's all up to you. Um, I'll go for Angus. He looks happy. Yes, he is. And a very funny show on nine. The Turbo. Oh, good. Oh, well, this should ramp things up a little bit. The next three questions will be worth $10 a piece. It's the Turbo round. Chance to accelerate a little bit. And that's coming up when round two returns of Temptation right after this. He's sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Everybody in the school knew the inside joke. They called me the hawk because of my profile. She's a soldier on a mission to feel more feminine. Inside, I know I'm a beautiful woman. I just want to show them. On this special night. Yes! From hawk to a hunk. I think you're going to be a new man, my friend. Captain to captivating. It just all hit me just now. When Extreme Makeover returns with a special surprise, followed by all new CSI Miami Wednesday on 9. Get rhythm when you get the blues. 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 No matter what you're building, brighter people are using products made from Blue Scope steel materials like Excelloplate and Colorbond steel. Blue Scope steel, brighter building. Recycled paper is a great way to help the environment, but usually means a drop in quality. The answer? Reflex 35% recycled. It's made with recycled material, but measures the same brightness and whiteness as market-leading Reflex White, and has the same premium quality and reliability. Most importantly, it's Australian-made, so unlike imported papers, Reflex helps divert waste from Australia's own landfill. Protect our environment without sacrificing quality. Switch to reliable Reflex 35% recycled. Brand Power, helping you buy better. You can now get the best-selling PlayStation 2 games from only $29.95. See in store for huge range. Loaded with toppings, try the new deluxe range with new toppings like smoked ham, sizzling bacon and Spanish sausage made with fresh perfecto dough. 131166. Welcome back, everybody. It's Tuesday's Temptation. We've got the turbo round in play for the next three questions. Every answer worth double. Ten dollars off your score, though, if you're wrong. Here we go. First put forward when he was only 26, Albert Einstein is best known for his... Scott. Theory of relativity. Yes, up to 25 in the turbo round. Building a criminal empire in Chicago in the 19... Scott. Al Capone. Yes, nicknamed Scarface, up to 35. Players aim for a score of no more than 21 points in which popular... Scott. Blackjack. Terrific turbo round for you, Scott. Jumping up to 45, the turbo round is off. That's the bell sounding for some retail R&R. &R. And Scott, you're in the driver's seat there. $45 you have to spend. You're 20 clear of Richard. Let's tempt you right now with Lavinia. This fully automatic programmable coffee machine is one of the most technologically advanced on the world market. It makes authentic full flavour coffee and brines whole beans per cup. Now that's fresh, priced at $1,999. For tonight's temptation, it's $10 from Seiko Australia. Well, up a turbo round like that, he's ready to spend I up, know. I should think. It could be the barista extraordinaire, Scott. You just blitzed them there. $30 in those three questions, Scott. Can we tempt you? Ten bucks is just one question worth, really. It's very early days. These guys are great. They're young, they're fit, they're fast. <laughs> and... I like your reasoning. Mm. Going I'm once. A, I'm a tea drinker. It's lovely, but... Going twice. That's gone. He that puts puppy, up a good gone, argument. No beans? No beans, no sale. Never mind. I'll have a weak latte, thanks. That would be just whipping one up. You keep the lead, though. Scott on 45, and the round continues. The burial chamber of Tutankhamun was discovered in 1922 by English Egyptologist Howard who? Richard. Carter. Good to hear from you. Yes, up to 30. From Greek words for good or beautiful and writing comes what term for the art of beautiful writing? 
Nelly. Calligraphy. Right, for you, up to 25. Another fame game question. We have $15 now in play behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in the early 1970s in London. I worked for a time at Christian Lacroix and as an intern at British Vogue. Graduating in 1995 from Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design, I rose quickly in the fashion world. In 1997, being hired by the Vendome Group to revitalise its 47-year-old design label, Chloe. My first... Scott. Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney, daughter of a great Beatles, Scott. He's a Beatles fan. Beatles, Beatles connection. <laughs> All right, you get yourself a pick of the board. Who will it be? Ray Martin. Ray, the great Ray from ACA. <laughs> the lockout. We're getting all the uh, twists tonight on Temptation. Scott, it's your choice. You can lock out either Nelly or Richard from answering the next three questions. Richard, your closest competitor on $30, Nelly $25. It's a break of about $15 for you. Who will it be? Uh, Richard's on $30. He's $15 behind you. Nelly's $20 behind you. Take your time there, Scott. <laughs> Just got to pick one. Richard or Nelly? Might Sorry, Nelly. Already. Nelly. Oh, that's a bit mean. All right, Nelly, he's gone for you. You're locked out of the next three questions. Richard and Scott, these next three questions for you both. Which is the only Australian state that borders four others? Richard. South Australia. Correct. Between about 20 and 25 is a healthy measure for one's BMI or what mass index? Richard. Body mass. Body mass is right. Nelly, trying to buzz in, but you can't. You are still locked out. Also known as the American Revolution is the United States War of what? Scott, independence. Independence gets you up to 50. The lockout is over for you, Nelly. You're back in the game. And on my go, everyone, we have another 20 seconds up on the clock. It's a sprint round. It starts now. By what first name do we better know baseball legend George Herman Scott? Babe. Yes, an intense fear or dislike of foreigners is what phobia starting, Scott? Xenophobia. Yes, born Henry Penrith was the Aboriginal activist and storyteller, Nelly. Yeah. Burnham Burnham, out of composers Bach, Beethoven and Mozart. Who was born in Austria? Richard? Mozart. Yes, found in vinegar is what diluted acid. We needed acetic acid on the buzzer. And everybody's firing in. Scott, our uh, early leader at this stage, you're on $60. 15 clear of Richard. Nelly on 20. And that winds up round two. Going to take a quick break. We're back with round three of Temptation right after this. Taking effect on December 15, 1791, the first ten amendments to the US Constitution are called the Bill of what? Scott. Rights. You're right. For 70. Gift shop time. Wonder if we can twist your arm this time round, Scott. You're $20 clear of Richard. You've got 70 to spend. Come on, let's go shopping. If you like entertaining, then you need this French door fridge. It's almost as good as having a waiter. It has an automatic ice maker and water dispenser that's perfect for drinks and cocktails. Plus inside, the easy to adjust shelves are deep and wide enough to hold platters or a punch bowl. Priced at $3,999. Can we tempt you, Scott, for $15 from LG Electronics? That's a <laughs> All right, you've got some kids. They would forever have their nose inside the fridge door. You'd need to fill it with plenty of stuff. Here's your opportunity. $20 clear of Richard. We're asking but 15 Scott, I know you're uh, a man who likes to think. <laughs> What's your reasoning this time, mm. Scotty? I'm just thinking in the kitchen we've got a fridge. Right. Right. <laughs> Do you have one of this size? Well, we've got a pretty big family. No, the one we've got's fine. $14? No. $13? No. 12 11? You are a taskmaster. No. $500 to fill it with some groceries for the kids. No. That's, uh, <laughs> He's telling you to get back to your podium. That's no sale. All right, thanks, Scott. I'll head back here and ask some more questions, shall I? Here we go. Round three rolls on. Beginning with G, is which term for the first stage in the growth of a plant from a Nelly? Germination. You're right. Just in the nick of time. Opening for business in Mary Reby's house in Macquarie Place, Sydney in April 1817 was what? What was Australia's first bank? Scott. Bank of New South Wales. You're right up to 75. In law, beginning with T, is what person who holds the title to property for the benefit of another? Richard. Trustee. Trustee. We've got a good game on our hands, everybody, and our final fame game question now. And it includes the $25 along with the wild card. So for a final pick, who am I? Born in England in 1917 and dying in 1993. I taught myself to play piano and while still in school wrote a cello concerto and a symphony. Serving in the army until 1946, I was a teacher, then an education officer in Malaya where I wrote my first novels, a trilogy with a Malayan setting. 
in 1959. Diagnosed with a brain tumour and given a year to live, I began writing at an intense pace that continued despite the diagnosis proving false. Among my works are the comic Enderby series, the musical Cyrano, and my last book, A Dead Man in Deptford. But I'm best known for my 1962 novel, A Clockwork Orange, a known Scott. Anthony Burgess. Anthony, Anthony Burgess. Burgess is right. Final pick for you, Scott. Now, Scott, um, keeping in mind that we're running to time here, would you pick a famous face for us? In your own time, of course. Bruce Page. Bruce Page, good. Thanks for the decision. Good luck. This pink iPod mini can hold 1,500 of your favourite songs. With accessories, it's $1,022 from Apple Computer. Cool. Well done, Scott. Good prize. Cool. Like that. It's cool, man. And Lavinia knows where the rest of the cash is lying tonight. Kathleen De Leon had the wild card, Tracy Grimshaw the $10, the 15 was behind Vanessa Felito, and Dave Whitehill the big money, $25. There we go, Tuesday, Tuesday's temptation turning into a ripper battle. We're back with the final round, it's the fast money round, right after this. been playing a very focused and concentrated game tonight. You lead by four questions, but I have a batch of them in my hand right now. 60 seconds worth, in fact. It's up on the clock right now. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. Seen in all six Star Wars films is the little droid R2 Watt. C2. Oh, yes, the extinct thylacine is known as the Tasmanian Watt. Richard. Tiger. Yes, which sign of the Zodiac lies between Scorpio and Capricorn? Nelly. Sagittarius. Yes, meaning conversely is the Latin adverb vice what? Scott? Versa. Yes. Which Australian rock band had the huge 1971 hit Eagle Rock? Richard. Daddy Cool. Yes. The last man to captain England to an Ashes victory was Mike Who? Richard. Really? Gatting. The vicar of whom is a title applied to the Pope? Scott? Rome. Christ. Between Greenland and Hudson Bay, Baffin Island is part of which nation? Richard. Canada. Yes. In Australia, equal in capacity to four teaspoons is one what? Nelly? Tablespoon. Yes. Starting with D is the term for what ancient Celtic priest? Scott. Druid. Yes. Transporting wounded diggers with his donkey in 1915. Richard. Simpson. Yes. A colourless oily liquid used in explosives is nitro what? Scott. Glycerin. Yes. Name an independent African country starting with Z. Nelly. Zimbabwe. Yes. Meaning beginning and end is the phrase alpha and what? Nelly. <laughs> Amiga went it on the buzzer. A win for Scott tonight by $20. Playing a very cool and collective game. He's got over the line. Good well battle done, in that Scott. fast money. Your uh, not buying in the gift shop has paid off. I yes. won't take it personally. We tried to drag a few dollars out of you, but you've hung on to win by 20, Good the place. same uh, buffer you had at the start of the fast money. So well played. Thank you. Good, Good quizzing. Now, Richard Wilkins, unfortunately, no prizes, but thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. And Nelly, you've got the vault cash for nearly $4,000. Congratulations to you both. Good game, you guys. Well played. Also, a terrific consolation prize as you leave us tonight. To remember your time at Temptation tonight, we have a 10 gram bar of solid gold for you both. Guaranteed 99.99% pure. This gift is from the Perth Mint. Scott, well played tonight. Now, I must mention too, in that frenzy of the fast money at the end, you answered R2. C2 instead of R2D2. You, we gave you $5 instead of taking it off, but didn't affect the outcome. You're still our winner, so well done. Thanks. In all that excitement, now we get to go shopping. Come this way, let's see what you're going to win for tonight. Plenty of goodies on the, uh, the board for you over the coming uh, week or so. That includes this as your first night try some beautiful furniture. Let's take a closer look. Give your home, study or office warmth and character with this antique style desk and cabinet. Handcrafted from rich flame mahogany, these pieces feature English brass handles, tooled leather and fine Georgian detailing. This refined temptation is priced at $10,980 from Gaslight Antiques and Personi and Hardy. Beautiful looking furniture for you there. Now Scott, bit of a skiing fan or never seen snow? I've seen snow, I've never been skiing. Okay, well last night our champ uh, Sharon took the ski trip off to New Zealand. It's still up for grabs, a win tomorrow night. We'll see you shushing in New Zealand. The land of the long white cloud awaits you on this nine night New Zealand skiing holiday for two. Staying in a first class penthouse studio apartment in Queenstown, transfers to all four ski areas, lift, lesson and equipment hire for five days, you can ski it all. With $3,000 spending money and flying business class, this New Zealand temptation is $15,222. Scott, meet Scott, super skier. 
Now, that's for tomorrow night if with a win. You take the kids skiing over in Kiwiland, be fantastic. However, a further win under your belt will see you sitting in front of your lounge room with this massive home entertainment theatre system. Let's take a closer look at that, a 60-inch plasma. I've never seen a TV as huge as that. Terrific sound system with all those speakers as well. And a further win under your belt will get you some beautiful jewellery. The wife will love this diamond-encrusted bracelet and plenty of diamonds on the earrings as well. Keep that winning going. The Volvo awaits you. That's for five nights of victories. Let the adventure begin with the XC70 SE. This all-wheel drive wagon with a powerful turbo engine caters equally well for the rough stuff and the need for intelligent luxury. Renowned safety features, versatile flexibility and a luxury leather interior complete with child booster cushions make it perfect for the active family. Priced at $56,950 plus on road costs, sometimes freedom is closer than you think. Volvo for life. Scott, we're here to tempt you with this beautiful motor car. The one night down, five nights victories, that Volvo is yours. Keep it going for six nights, you get all the prizes you've seen tonight. Now you know what happens after seven nights. Here comes the goal. Well, you've proven to be a hard man to tempt so far, Scott, but how about this half a million dollars of solid gold? Well, Scott, you're a bit of a thinker. And we're going to have to have a think about your first big decision for the game. Can we tempt you to head off tonight, take that furniture, or come back tomorrow night and head off to New Zealand on a terrific holiday worth $15,000 plus? Here's 10 seconds for your decision. You're good tonight, champ. Very focused. What will it be? Will we see you tomorrow? No, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do this all again. Good, you are coming back. Very confusing, but you're back for tomorrow. Good. All right. So, Scott, I think you've decided to pass on that furniture, coming back tomorrow night for your level two prize, which Definitely. is that trip to New Zealand to try skiing for the first time. Now, let's put some money into your cash account and see if we can get you up to some big dollars by playing 10 in a row. It works this way. You'll have 60 seconds to correctly answer as many questions in a row as you can. For each correct answer, the money in your cash account will increase. If you answer 10 in a row, that will reach $100,000. We saw it last Friday. If you get one wrong along the way, though, we'll reset back to zero. Same if you pass, we take that as incorrect. And Scott, it's your choice of these five different sets of questions now between one and five. What'll it be? Five. Five for you. Here it comes. 60 seconds on the clock. I'll have three seconds to answer each of my questions as well, incidentally. Your time starts now. Uncle Sam is the personification of which country? USA. Yes. A meteor is also known as a shooting what? Star. Yes. Which line through a circle is also a bone in the human arm? Radius. Yes. Father of singer Nora Jones is Ravi Hu. Shankar. Yes. Which sitcom character uttered the greeting, Nanu Nanu? Walk. Yes. Australia's premier wait for age horse race is the WS what? Cox Plate. Yes. Which Australian state borders the Northern Territory to the east? West Australia. Queensland. The Tabo Mbeki is president of which African country? Zimbabwe. South Africa. Born in 1732 was greatest Austrian composer Joseph who? Haydn. Yes. A flag of truce is traditionally what colour? White. Yes. The Taj Mahal stands in which Indian city? Delhi. Agra. What is the lightest chemical element? Oxygen. Hydrogen we needed there. So we went up and down. We got pretty high up to $15,000 in the end. But Scott, we're back to zero, but tomorrow is another day. Back to zero, don't rub it in. Well, it's a bit of a wrestle with some good dollars, a way to fatten out your cash I account. Know, it's and a frustrating and... roller coaster ride, that one. But you live to play another day, Scott. Yeah. We'll see you on deck tomorrow for Wednesday. It'll be a big Wednesday here at Temptation. We'd better get running. Hope you enjoy your evening. Have a great night. See you the same time tomorrow night. We'll tempt you again. Bye.